Hey, good Monday evening, everybody. Thanks for stopping by for your Aggieland Carpet One forecast. If you're not finding some rain, and we're talking about the 6.30 hour as we record this, you're finding a beautiful sunset out there with scattered clouds across the area. It's an area of low pressure that moved by yesterday. That's what brought the cloud cover and even some rain to the area for our Sunday. Today, passing rain, a couple thunderstorms. Some of us picked up a few drops. Others picked up a few inches of rain. But for tomorrow, we'll keep a small chance for a few more passing showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. Now, overnight tonight, we may see a cluster of showers move through around the midnight hour. Tomorrow morning, most likely a dry and cloudy start to the day. And then we'll get into the afternoon, warm up a little bit, get some sunshine, a little more than we had today. And that'll pop up about a 20, 30% chance of rain. Wednesday, it's all gone. Drier air is moving in. And that starts to change up a few other things this week. The rain chance looks to be gone, but with some morning lows in the upper 60s, low 70s, for the next few days, we get a couple pushes of drier and cooler air, and that means temperatures yeah, in the 50s by the weekend. That is a very good possibility. Overnight tonight, though, we're looking anywhere from about 67 to 69 by the time you wake up. Tomorrow, widely dry for many of us, but a few of us will find a little bit more rain, about a 30% shot. And with a little more sunshine on hand, temperatures a little warmer than they were today. It was only the low 80s and the upper 70s. Tomorrow, it is the upper 80s for all of us, unless you find a well-timed shower or thunderstorm. A little bit toasty again on Wednesday, but here comes some of that cooler air we're talking about. And as of now, that should set us up for a pretty good-looking weekend, although we will need to monitor things. At this time of the year, cold fronts may be a little tricky, so I have to kind of fine-tune that over the next couple of days. The latest details on it can be found over at kbtx.com. We'll have another update for you later this evening on News 3 at 10. Have a good evening.